In a high-security military lab, scientists unveil a revolutionary sonic weapon designed to liquefy internal organs through precise vibrations. Unlike traditional firearms, this emitter uses ultra-low-frequency sound waves to disrupt biological tissues at a molecular level. Initial tests on animal subjects show catastrophic internal damage without external wounds. The project, codenamed Resonance Core, represents a terrifying leap in non-ballistic warfare. Military strategists predict it could redefine urban combat by bypassing body armor. The first human trial is conducted on a death row volunteer. At 7.3 Hz frequency, the sonic pulse causes immediate organ resonance. Thermal scans show the liver and kidneys vibrating violently before rupturing. Blood vessels burst internally while the skin remains intact, a hallmark of this weapon's stealth lethality. Researchers note the victim's death mirrors historical cases of infrasound exposure accidents, but with military-grade precision. Ethical concerns are overridden by the project's strategic value. Rival tech conglomerate Neuralink Defense infiltrates the lab using cyber-enhanced operatives. Their target, the resonance algorithms stored in quantum core drives. The FIFS neural implants allow instant data theft through physical contact. Security footage reveals the emitter blueprints being wirelessly transmitted via millimeter wave tech. This breach demonstrates how next-gen corporate warfare increasingly blends cyber and physical infiltration methods, with stolen weapons tech becoming a currency in shadow markets. In Macau's underground Silicon Bazaar, warlords bid for the stolen schematics using cryptocurrency. Auction logs reveal the designs fetched, 42,000 ETH, equivalent to $78 million from a Saharan militia group. Forensic analysts identify the buyer through blockchain patterns linked to Libyan arms deals. The auction house known for dealing in clean weapons, those leaving no ballistic evidence, has previously sold experimental EMP devices and neurotoxin microdrones to non-state actors. Footage emerges from the Sudanese conflict zone showing militia using a truck-mounted sonic cannon. The weapon's effective range spans 300 meters, causing entire platoons to collapse simultaneously. Autopsies reveal victims' organs resemble vibrational puree, a pathology unseen in conventional warfare. Interestingly, the crude field version causes collateral damage to the operators themselves, suggesting improper shielding. This marks the first documented use of resonant frequency weapons in active combat. Dr. Elena Voss, the project's lead biophysicist, attempts to expose the weapon's effects via Darknet livestream. Mid-broadcast, her body suddenly contorts. Security experts later identify the signature of a satellite-directed sonic strike. The attack exploits her titanium hip implant's resonance frequency, demonstrating the weapon's scary precision against augmented humans. This assassination method leaves no ballistic evidence raising alarms about extraterritorial killings becoming untraceable. Rogue medic Jae-hoon discovers a teenage survivor whose collagen mutation naturally dampens sonic frequencies. MRI scans show her tissues absorb vibrations like acoustic foam, a biological fluke offering immunity. This discovery parallels historical cases of certain Tibetan monks demonstrating unnatural sound wave resistance. Jae-hoon theorizes this genetic anomaly could inspire counter-resonance armor, potentially neutralizing the weapon's strategic advantage in future conflicts. Using the survivor's biomimetic data, the team hacks into the original research servers. They discover the weapon's Achilles heel. It requires precise atmospheric humidity to maintain lethal focus. Archive files reveal abandoned diapason protocol research into using infrasound for non-lethal crowd control later weaponized by military contractors. This historical context shows how peaceful vibration tech was perverted into organ-disrupting arms, mirroring the laser's evolution from tools to weapons. In the Warlord's Desert Compound, Jae Hoon overloads the sonic cannon's dampeners using repurposed ultrasound medical equipment. The feedback loop causes the weapon's titanium core to resonate at 12 kilohertz, shattering both the device and the operator's skeletal system. 
Thermal imaging captures the exact moment when the standing waves liquefy the warlord's bone marrow while leaving his skin intact. This ironic defeat by his own weapon's physics demonstrates the dangers of imperfectly mastered technology. While the team destroys all local data copies, blockchain analysis reveals one backup exists in an offshore quantum server. The final shot shows an unknown figure accessing the files, their reflection revealing a cybernetic eye with the Neuralink defense logo. This cliffhanger suggests the sonic weapon's legacy will evolve, perhaps into even more terrifying forms like neural disrupting millimeter waves or crowd control infrasound arrays. The cycle of weapons tech escaping control continues.